Hello, my friends. I've made it. Did I made it? Have I made it? Anybody there? Let's see. Oh, hi, Bridget. Okay, I'm live. That's good. Hi, guys. So, let's see. Okay, now it is just going out. Hello, my friends. Hi, guys. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Heather. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Endla. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen Helden. I'm a primary retailer for Dixiebel over here in Frankfurt in Germany. I carry Grace on design. That's a beautiful paper we already applied on this uh, table here. Um, and uh, I will finish with you today or tonight. Well, it is uh, it is 9 p.m. over here. So uh, uh, this little table, we're going to add like the last bits um, uh, to it. And, and we're going to seal the top basically. Hi, Diane. Thank you for joining me. Guys, when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from and uh, say hi to me and say what's the time where you are at. As I said, it is 9 p.m. over here. It's uh, pretty late. I'm still drinking my coffee <laughs> just to keep going. As I know, Heather, this would be the time where you would already go to bed. So um, as I know, there's a lot of my friends still on on this time. Hi, Linda. Hi, Anne. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm happy you're all there. As I said, those papers we've uh, from uh, Grace on Design, we've applied that uh, in the last lives. And then we had the uh, Would You Bend applied onto it, to the feet also. We're going to come to those uh, in a minute. And last time we've been blending the colors to match basically the, the top of, the, of that. Um, I'm just going to bring that a little closer to you so you can see how vibrant those colors from those papers are They're absolutely gorgeous and this is the the color scheme we made all the way around so um whoa, that's a heavy little heavy little bugger i'm not miss muscle exactly and tonight we're going to seal that off space is not exactly what I'm rich off. Okay, we're first going to seal the paper in now. So we've applied that with um, uh, well, that's that's great, Heather, because I mean, you're up earlier than also. So you uh, I noticed that when I see when you're posting, or when you start posting, so you're up earlier. So this is uh, this is not exactly my time when you when you get up. So um, I'm, I'm a night working person. That's it. So tonight we're going to work, we're going to seal it off. I'm going to seal it off with a satin top coat by Dixie Bell. And um, I'm also going to seal the rest of the piece because I want to work with some dark wax. I'm going to work with the best thing wax in brown because it basically goes beautifully also into the details and the high spots um, I'm going to enhance with the Dixie Bell gemstone mousse in golden gem which is this beautiful color. Even I am not the brown person and I am not the golden girl. Um, I think that matches perfectly this piece and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So let's get going. Um, top coat by Dixie Bell, the satin, water-based. So when you use it, just mix it up nicely before you, hi Jill. So, hello Lee Water. Hi, Vera. So, there we go. Mix it up nicely. Um, it's got like, a, it looks milky, but it's drying clear. So, um, I'm going to do that pretty quickly. So, I did mix up. It's got like a jelly consistency and it's very, very easy to use. So, um, oh, baby wipes. <laughs> Side. It's very, very easy to use. So, and sealing it off, it's nothing easier than that. You know, you can go straight over that paper again 
And um, just to make sure you seal it in. You can also seal it with uh, gator hide. If you have like a heavy use piece, you can use gator hide. Even so, when I use gator hide, I prefer to lay down one or two coats of the satin underneath anyway. You can use the flat, you can, you know, just use any top coat you can think of. And those top coats, they dry very, very quick. I'm first laying it down, looking a little bit from the side to make sure I've got everything covered. So and then I'm just going to go in one direction. go and the reason I'm going to seal off the rest also before I add the basically the finishing products the best name wax in brown or even the the gemstone mousse is because I like to control where what I do and this is the, the base is the chalk mineral paints by Dixiebel. You can see on here nicely now, when I put down the, the satin on here, it's, it's got like a, a slightly milky at the moment. So it makes it easy for me to see where I've already put it down. I couldn't see it on top because it's uh, by the, you know, not the texture, but by the, um, by the pattern, it's not that easy to see. So a little bit much of the top coat, just take it down a little bit. So by sealing the paint off, I'm just going to start on the list there. By sealing the paint off with a top coat, or you can use the Best Dang Wax in, in clear, you can use the Easy Peasy Spray Wax, that, that works just perfect. I preferably like to seal in my my pieces because I want to keep it as I've done them. I'm not going to seal it underneath, that's okay. But those areas, you know, where they might be carried around or something like that, I always like to have at least one coat of some sort of top coat on there. Not very often I seal with um, only with with some wax, but guys, this is this is just personal preference, you know. Basically, you don't need to seal those Dixie Gold paints at all. No, they are self-sealing. It's just that they are pretty open porous. And just oops, that was a bit. That was a bit much of the top coat. So I'm going to spread it out. And the um, the top coats by Dixieville are ever so easy to apply. You know, even when you have like a dark piece or something like that. You have no streaks and stuff like that. For those who, you know, Gator Hide is a little special. Um, but the other top coats, the flat one, the um, satin, and even the gloss one, they are so easy to work with. So I'm basically just like laying down coat of the top coat on here. So um, we've just been working in my journal life also on a decoupage piece, also from Grace on Design. Guys, if there is any retailer underneath you for Europe, and he would like to carry those um, papers, just give, give a shout out to me. Um, I can help you out there. So you can also find on my page the in Europe the um, the European retailers. You're just building it up. They are brand new, those papers by by Heather, 
They're absolutely gorgeous to work with. They're so, so beautiful. We're going to do some more pro, um, projects in the next weeks. The new, new releases just came out. Um, they're already all in. So guys, let's see if you have any questions. Oh, hi, my Nasa. Oh, hi, Michelle. I'm missing loads of comments here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so in my... Hi, Marlene. That's great. Hi, Karina. Um, über die Silkfarben normalerweise. Die Silks sind, um, die haben eingebauten Top Coat drin. Das heißt, die sind auch nicht so ähm, porös, äh, offenporig wie die Kreide Mineralfarben. Insofern, bei dem muss man das nicht machen. Ich habe die jetzt zum Beispiel im Badezimmer, mein Badezimmerschrank damit gemacht, mit den Silk. Und den habe ich, ähm, hab ich überhaupt nicht versiegelt, weil ich das einfach mal testen wollte. Also die muss man nicht versiegeln. Ups, das war wieder zu viel. The question was just if you um, need to seal the silk all in one mineral paints and they have a they are they are different type of paints they they are not um chalk mineral paints so they have a built-in uh, sealer already so you don't need to you don't need to seal those And I painted my bathroom cabinets with them and I didn't, I didn't seal them because I basically, this is a test, you know, I, I like to try out the things before I um, tell other people, you know, to do something or not to do something. This is different, you know, this technique sometimes. Last time I was asked if I, if I tried this ad before and I said, no, I didn't. This was just like what I had in mind. I've seen, I've seen the colors of this, uh, of this decoupage and um, I just knew which direction this was supposed to go. This is different, but um, when we are talking about um, how paints react or what you can do with them, I like to try that out. They have... Everything I do or everything I sell, they, they go through a very hard school, you would say in German. Because if they survive what I do, I can, I can re recommend that, um, I can re easily recommend that to you. So, that's the first code. Obviously, there's going to be a second code. But for working with my um, products now, that's fine. I'm just going to put that to the side. So, um, I've just seen another question. Wenn ich meine bistrotischen streiche, ist aber bestimmt keine. No. Uh, Ute, Gederheit, bistrotische uh, und Stühle, perfekt. Das ist genau der richtige Topcoat dafür. The question was just like um, one of um, my sweet ladies here, Ute, she, she owns a, a cafe and um, we are still, we are still in lockdown over here in Europe or it's in Germany especially. So unfortunately she's not allowed to open up, you know, nor am I. My shop is not open at the moment. I, I, I'm only allowed to do curbside pickup. But um, she's like uh, renewing her stuff and for uh, um, chairs and tables, which are going to be used in, uh, in a, um, uh, um, highly frequented areas, like they would be in a cafe, um, Gator Hide is perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that rabbit. <laughs> That rabbit is following us around, guys. <laughs> that rabbit is following us around. So I'm just going to dry that quickly. Um, guys, when you paint your stuff, uh, make sure that you... Oh, God, I've got like a case. All tangled up. <laughs> when you... Um, just let them dry. They dry really quick. I'm just going to dry that quickly because I want to carry on with you and show you a bit how the, the final finish is going to be. So... Mm. Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. 
use books. <laughs> yes, the rabbit was a life project. Yes, that was giving me a hard time. So, just quickly, the colors I've used on there were from Dixie Bell chalk mineral paints. The base was barn red. And then I've used uh, Daisy, I've used Honky Tonk Red, I've used Muscadin Wine. Oh, and Florida Orange. Florida Orange was in there also. And this basically gave us this um, sunsetty type of uh, type of finish. I'm not worried about the top because I want to do the things around the sides. I want to make sure that I've got that dried up a little. So when the top coat satin gives it like a, as the name says, like a satiny finish. makes for my taste the colors even more vibrant. That's what I like. And if you don't like it, there is no reason why you couldn't um, put another top coat on top. You know, if you if you think if you feel you want to have it more glossy, you can add a coat of the top coat gloss on it. Or if you want to have it flat, again, you can put the top coat flat on top. You can layer the top coat also. They're all water-based. There's no problem. Okay, so you can even paint over the Dixie Bell waxes, you know. You can paint over the the best thing wax as it is water based, and also over the um, oh hi Annie, um, and also over the easy peasy spray wax. They're both water based. Um, the easy peasy spray wax uh, dries within thirty minutes, and the um, best thing wax uh, needs a little longer. So if you want to paint over that, you should wait about two to three days, but uh, you can paint over them. So um, that's that's basically. Um, when I use, I mostly use the colored waxes, um, and if I want to seal it in, um, I do that with, you know, with one of the top coats and afterwards, because I don't want, I mean, they dry, they dry hard. So, um, okay. So, um, let's see. I need a clean rag, which I forgot. Hang on, stay with me. Oh, I'm just going to use that. That's fine. That's fine. I'm using this one. And my brown. This thing. This thing. I don't really have a brown. This thing. Use that for the black. I usually have. I usually have a, a brush for each uh, color of wax. Just gonna see. Ah, that will be fine. Because I don't clean them afterwards, really. Um, oh yes, summery. We all love summer. 
So the reason I like to seal it in because the Dixieville paints, they are open porous and uh, they like to grab everything you, you put on top. And if you want to control it, if you want to go really for the, the muddy look um, and the real rustic look, that's fine. But if you don't and you want to have control, like I, I like to have the control, <laughs> the things I do, um, I seal it off first and uh, then I, I use the colored wax because it makes it easier to take it back in areas you don't want to have it. And I don't want to have it like too dark. I just want to um, have it a little basically in those. I'm going to rub it in because I want to have it in those corners. Because that's, that goes beautifully with this paper. So. And I'm working in sections. I'm working in sections. I just love the waxes, the colored waxes to, to give it, um, to give it its, um, a special character basically, this age character, I like it. So work in sections, don't, you know, don't add the, the dark wax or the colored waxes and, um, you know, then go shopping and uh, think you can take it back about three, three hours later. That won't work. The, the best thing waxes, they do dry. And um, so it makes it harder than to, to take off. So now I'm just going to take that back. So this is for my low spots. I'm just enhancing the low spots of the piece now. And it makes it very easy to control. As this is sealed now, this is not gripping too much to the paint. I can take it back quite a bit. You can use a baby wipe also as the best thing waxes, they are water-based. So you can use a baby wipe to do that. This just gives it a little bit more of character, the whole piece. There you go. Now you can really see that rope going around. I'm going to do that all around the top. Let's see. So dropping the table possibly. Now me. I'm very good at that. So this is also I like to work in sections. Makes it easier to control. And if you leave it on there too long, it'll just stick to your to your paint and make make it very difficult to take off again. Swirly motions to get all the low spots. As I said, this colored wax I'm using to enhance the low spots. And the mousse I'm going to use to enhance the high spots at the end. Let's see? Um, I can make this in one go now. I can make this in one go. Instagram seal also. I'm going to bring you a little more. There you go. So. All the areas. I'm gonna come in with my clean rag. <laughs> clean and clean free. Which is not that easy with two cats.
go. Just take back as much as you want and leave on as much as you want. And if you've taken off too much, you know, you can just like add a little more. That's easier than if you have too much on there and you can't, and you can't really take it off. So, there we go, last area, that's done quickly, now I'm now going to buff that nicely. You should leave that for about 20 minutes to buff it. So um, I'm just going to do that straight away because I want to show you the, um, oh, we still got a couple of minutes. Still got a couple of minutes. I'm going to do the same thing around these bottom areas. So let's see that you let's see. I'm going to have it in low spots, it's completely messy here as well, just working in sections, so I'm not doing all the areas in one go, I'm doing one row at a time, take my rack, Take it off. So this gives it a complete, complete different look. And this brown wax goes beautifully with those um, orangey, burnt, red, um, red areas. You can see. I'm going to bring that a little closer. Ugh. Can see how that is just like giving it this little aged look and with the as I said you can seal it with the best thing wax in clear you can seal it with the best thing uh, with the easy peasy spray wax I've um, I've used the top coat in satin as I'm using that anyway on top of this piece and I mean there's no reason why you should um, why you should use thousands of different products so working in sections taking that off you can see how easy I can basically take that off because I really just want to have it in the low spots and I want to keep the the main vibrance of the of the colors you know I don't want to mud them mud them up go That's done quickly. Go a little further down. Same thing. You can use Dixie Dirt if you want to or something like that to grunge it up even a little more. Glaze, whatever. This is um, this is personal preference. I just like working with the waxes. Quite like them. Who likes working with the waxes? Anybody else? <laughs> I've heard. You know, I need sun. I need sun, and I need summer. 
Oh, which which is my favorite colors? Ah, oh, der gute Laune Tisch, ja. Genau, richtig für die Zeit. Rote, korrekt. Um, my favorite color. You mean in like color, color or color from Dixiebo or what do you mean is my favorite color? So I'm just gonna bring you a little further down. Hang on. Now you can see basically a little better around the feet. Because we're going to do the same thing there. And now you can see there's like those areas much more enhanced. My fingers are covered in brown bags also. Instagram, there you go. Mm. Purple and yellow. That's beautiful also. Well, I would say... Hmm. My favorite colors. It's difficult to say. I'm all into blues, definitely. I am a water person. I'm a scuba diver instructor also, so I'm all into blues. But I'm all into reds and oranges also, because this is this is warm. This is sun. This is summer. So those are the, well, and I like blacks, and, yeah, blacks, blacks also. It depends. I mean, I, uh, I think he has a lot of, a lot of nice colors. So same thing here. Let's take the wax down that gives it just a nice let's see those corner bits and edges darken those up a little I could blend blend it out but i don't want to because i don't want to have the dark or the, the brown wax like you know covered on the the piece itself i just want to enhance the low spots that's the reason i'm doing it that way no, i'm gonna move around like this because i've got to take it off here first more in these areas cover those up take that off as I said this, this, this is up to you you know how much you want to leave on how much you want to take off And I want to enhance those low spots just to bring out the structure of that piece. But I definitely want to keep, and I'm going to highlight the high spots, you know, the, the top um, in a minute with the, um, with the, with the moves, which I'm going to show you. So, and they are all water-based products I'm working with today. Also this, uh, the best thing works and the moves we're going to use in a minute, they are all water-based. So you can basically at the end seal this in. 
can see how nice they can take everything back here. It's so easy to do. Just twist this around. You just shouldn't leave it on too long because if it dries in, you have a hard time to remove it. That's also the reason I'm working in sections. Almost done. And also the wax, it's got no smell. Well, it's got, it's got like a creamy smell. It's not um, almost neutral, which makes it lovely to, to work with also. This is, um, I like essential oils, but I don't like um, perfumes and stuff like that. This is uh, sometimes giving me a headache. Don't know about you. So, um, if I bought a dress, what color? If I bought a dress, Nina, if I bought a dress, it would be black. <laughs> <laughs> if it's about me wearing things, I'm, I'm a lot into blacks. So, uh, for me, Unless it's summer. I have a couple of summer dresses which are like um, flowy, um, which are like flowy, flowery, colorful, hippie like dresses. But um, usually, if I would have had to buy a dress or something like that, clothing wise, if I go to work, I mostly wear black trousers or jeans and I like my black and gray shirts. You know, this is one of my shirts. This is, you know, this is one of my shirts. Elfen and Helden is my brand. I also do those myself, rhinestone designs. So, uh, even I have like other colors, but I prefer my my black and, and grays. That's uh, <laughs> that's what I that's what I have there. But painting is different for me. Painting is totally different for me. Also, in my you know, I mean, a lot of things I've done in the last year was basically my own stuff i've been repainting or re repurposing so to say and um that's where i like like colors and i'm so happy you know because germany is all you know very gray and stuff like that you know people are not very I thought there wouldn't be very much into into colors. I don't know if it's because I'm mostly using colors, but um, a lot of my customers um, they also paint very colorful. So that makes me happy. Colors make happy. I think um, you're being a hippie again. I like hippie dresses. They're so comfy. So, um, I mean, I'm getting too old for those, but uh, again, I quite like them. So, this is completely changed the look of this cute little table now. All right. This is those, how you can basically enhance the details 
so that they pop out more. Put a top coat or some sort of sealing medium underneath, like um, easy peasy spray wax or best thing wax in clear to control. This is all dirty now. To control basically wax, and then you can. As I said, I wanted to keep the, the vibrancy of the of that red and orange. I'm just gonna bring that a little closer. The vibrancy of that red and orange. But I wanted to enhance basically because it's got some, you know, a few details. And especially you know those woody bands we, we added on there. And um, I wanted to make sure that um, they're gonna be seen. So now buff it after 20 minutes. So buffing is basically you're taking, you're rubbing it uh, in and you're taking some of the excess away with it. And then you can basically go from there. Now we're going to enhance the high spots with the gemstone mousse. Who has used the gemstone mousse by Dixie Bowl yet? It is a water-based product, which means it you can use it as a gilding um, wax or something like that. You just um, it just like uh, reacts a little different as it is water based. And um, I'm just gonna put that down. As it is water based, I just need something to stir. Hang on. Stir. That's all one. And brush. And you don't need a brush, you can use your, your fingers. So I'm just going to get you a little up. So no one is <laughs> too hippie. Uh, I'm an old cow girl. <laughs> Not cow girl, I'm an old cow. So, so gemstone mousse by Dixie Bell. This is the golden gem I'm using tonight. Um, for those who for those who I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. For those who already oh sorry. Sorry, noise, noise. Who use them already or have several colors, they may have noticed that they are different in consistency. So um They are different in consistency. This is the, the garnet. This is the garnet, which is oops, pretty liquidy. If you look at it, it is uh, running. And this is the, the golden gem. All very nice and shiny, but different in consistency. Fireplace or swimming pool. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, Anya. Um, Else again, yeah, <laughs> Nina, uh, Michelle, yeah, they are following me around also like the rabbits. <laughs> so um, they are different in consistency, and this is the, the reason for it is because they are measured by weight, and the um, the different there's like real metal particles in there, and they have a different weight. So that's the reason they are different in consistency, but as they are water-based, you can basically, you know, with the golden gem, you can add a little water if they, if it is too thick for your taste and the other way around, you can leave the, um, you can leave the garnet out and let it dry in a little bit. So this is not, uh, no lack of, um, Quality. This is basically just because they are different in um, 
in weight the metal sinks so even so this is a water-based product so before you use it stir it up nicely mix it up nicely so that all the ingredients are mixed up because otherwise you can um, run into trouble like they are not uh, adhering properly pro properly or you can rub them off after a while you can mix them a little with uh, one of the top coats i'm not doing that now i'm just i'm using it like a gilding wax i'm just mixing it up very very good as i said you can add some water if this is too sick for you so there you go and you can use them as i said just like like a gilding wax so i'm just going to get that and they are very very rich so you don't need much you don't need much at all this is the second mistake a lot of people make they use far too much of that product so i'm just going to get as much of that spoon as possible dip that into the water so i don't draw it on there there you go oh, there you go so wipe it off you can use your fingers you can apply it with your fingers but you can also apply it with a brush so i'm going to slide you come a little closer my friends come to me come to me so let's see what's the time obviously oh, 50 minutes it's fine so and then i just I hold my brush in an angle to the project as i want to touch only the high spots and then brushing gently over it ever so gentle ever so gentle don't want to have full coverage just want to enhance those areas a little can you see is my head in the way oh shiny is that it looks even better on the video so um T-shirt, jeans, and leather moccasins. That sounds good. It is still pretty cold here, so I'm wearing still my my Uggs. So <laughs> so let's go around. So this is still the first load on the brush I have. I'm pressing it down a little more now, but this is how much of the product is basically. I've got to go. Hang on, I've got to go. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing properly. I want to have it a little bit. There we go. And if you have an area where just like that, where you think, oh, that oh, nice, just take a baby wipe and just wipe it off again. Easy peasy, there's a lot of things. And this is just like complementing just very little product. Don't need much at all. If you use too much, it needs a lot longer to dry. And as this is uh, water-based and not oil-based, it needs longer than the gilding wax to dry. So keep that in mind. Be patient with it. It's a lovely product because it's got no smell to it whatsoever, no VOCs. So um, I love them. Plus, with the new gilding waxes, we can't get them all over here in Europe, which is a bit of a pain. I'm 
this is just like giving it the beautiful and touch oops uh, still there yeah finishing touch and touch finishing touch so just very little hold your brush in an angle to your project There you go. Do the same thing on the bottom here. Let's see, it's probably even too much. Ever so gentle. Just want to have it a little, just a little around those areas. Sorry, guys. Light is always very bad here. Just brush it gently on there, wherever you want to have it. Just to give it a little bit of a touch. As I said, I don't want to have too much. So I'm not a golden girl, but I think this is giving it the, the perfect finishing touch complementing the paper. Complementing the paper. And um, so now there's like those tiny edges. I'm just brushing over the corners. Tiny little bit, do the same thing on the bottom here. There's like also this, um, like a step in there, which I want to bring out. So I'm going in an angle and using my fingers a little also to smooth it up a little. So basically almost just like wiping it a little of the product off on those edges. And then I'm moving my finger across to, to smooth that out. Just sorry, I'm all over the place, I'm moving around. Then we have that was too much. As I said, there's like hardly any of the product in the on the brush. That's um ever so gently. so gently just those high spots I want to reach and as I said if you don't like it in some areas you can always take it off with a If you think you have it too much on there, but I don't mind if it's a little irregular. That's perfectly fine for this for, for this yeah, for this project. I'm totally in my um oh hi sweetie. Hi would you bend? Look how gorgeous this trim goes with this table. That's absolutely beautiful. 
So, um, oh, give my love to your mom, Nina. Give my love to your mom. So, last bits going down on the legs. Oh, sorry, guys. Bring you down to the legs. you see Instagram just a tiny little bit don't want to have much I'm gonna do that all the way around If I wouldn't have had done the talking all the time, I would have had it done in about half an hour. This is now one hour, but um, there we go. It's been a lot of talking. X things a little. Then we have that thing finished. I just need to decide if I want to have some gator hide on top. And those trims are so versatile also. Those are the woody bands. Should we apply those live also? Absolutely gorgeous products to work with. So just like the last bit, there's this edge on this leg, which I'm just going to get a little. So I'm just running my brush flat over this area. And that's it then. Yes, thank you so much for your patience. Is anybody still with me? If you're still with me, just uh, pop a smiley. I hope I didn't bore you with this. I hope I didn't bore you. New comments. <laughs> warm in Germany? Not really. No, it's, it's warmed up a little, but um, it's not really warm. That's the reason I'm painting. I'm painting summery colors, like sunset colors. So there we go, guys. This is cutie finished. And I'm going to bring that. A little closer to you in a sec. That's it. This is just the, I like that. Even I like the gold. I know Sully, I'm sure it's Sully from Woody Band who is just on, um, likes, likes it also. So I'm gonna bring you up guys, hang on, oops. And I'm going to show you the whole piece. I'm going to show you the whole piece. Uh, try not to drop you this time. I'm very good at dropping you. I'm looking like the master of disaster again. So there we go. That's it. Top. And would you bend it all around? Beautiful trim. And around the bottom there, 
loads of sunny colors on here so that's it guys thank you so so much for your patience and thank you so much for being with me and instagram i'm going to pop you over there you go thank you guys thank you michelle Thank you, Brigida. Still some people listening. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Marlene. Anja, vielen Dank. Ute, danke schön. Annie, you're <laughs> to the bitter end. You're so sweet, guys. So, um, <laughs> okay, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this little project. This table is basically finished. Uh, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Elfen Helden. I'm a Woody Band retailer, Perry retailer for Dixie Girl. Miss Lillian's, um, Grace on Design, Decoupage Papers, uh, Da Vinci Brushes, and, 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 just pop over to my page and, and check it out. I'm sure there's something there for you also. And um, yeah, I'm here a couple of times a week in English, one time in Germany, also on Thursday, which was just before this, uh, this live. If you haven't done it yet, pop over to my page, leave me a like there. All those silent watches, just, just, you know, just throw me a heart or just throw me a smiley or just just something that, you know, that Facebook notices that like people are watching. So that's absolutely fantastic. I really, I really would love to have that. And if you haven't done it, pop over to my page and leave me a like there. And I'm thanking everybody who is like distributing this post also, guys. You're 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 the stars. I really love that. Thank you so much for helping me out. And I'll see you next Thursday. I'm wishing you a great day, afternoon, whatever time it is at your place. It is um, 10 p.m. over here now and uh, a great weekend. And I'll see you next week. If you have any questions, PM me, put, uh, tag me in the comments or something like that. Guys, you take care and I'll see you, I'll see you next week, so to say. Bye, guys. Bye. Nighty, nighty. Yeah, everybody stay safe.